Don't go quiet, London. Come on! What's going on, YouTube? So I'm Brad, and you're watching Brad to the Boom. Um, so today, guys, I've got a video slightly different from uh, anything we've done before. Um, it's not necessarily vlog style, so I didn't vlog it, but I did video the whole um, lots of the the event. So basically, yesterday, today is Monday. Yesterday on Sunday, the sixteenth, I think it was the sixteenth yesterday. Um, but yeah, yesterday on Sunday, I went to a my first ever bare knuckle boxing event in London. Um, a lot of the lads, um, local lads, we all um, got on a minibus, drove down there. Um, and our friend was fighting um, in this bare knuckle boxing event. It was literally w amazing day. I've never seen a bare knuckle boxing event before. Not in person. I've watched on the internet and stuff like that on YouTube, but I've never seen it in person. Incredible atmosphere. Wicked, wicked day. Um, the event was put on by a company called BKB, um, uh, BYB. Sorry, um, but I think they they are connected or like also owned by or the same company as BKB. Um, they said they're the only legal um, bare knuckle boxing like organization in the world. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but yeah. Um, it was a really, really well put on event. Uh, event. Uh, we watched some American fighters. There's uh, um, literally fighters from all in the world. There's Poland, uh, po Polish fighters, um, a load of UK fighters. Um, a few fighters from the States. Um, there was one fight actually I didn't get footage of, but it was a girl from Florida versus a girl from Alabama. Uh, incredible fight. Literally, those girls were slugging out right to the end. Um, so, bare knuckle boxing works slightly differently to normal boxing. The rules are slightly different and, and um, the rings are slightly different. So, in this one, you'll see a triangular ring. It was literally like this small. It, yeah, it is the smallest. Um, uh, combat sport arena, like a uh, ring in the world, so it is literally tiny, so they can't get away from each other. Literally, you've got to uh, fight it out in there. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, wicked event. Um, maybe not for everybody because it is just super, um, it's a lot more bloody than, than traditional boxing, so it's maybe not for everybody, but it, it, we really had a great time. Um, Really nice, um, like I said, atmosphere. I've never been to London O2 before, and that was massive, a huge arena. Um, I've never been to a, anywhere that big, do you know what I mean? Um, the arena that was huge. Um, we were right near the front um, in the arena, which was just amazing. Super near the front, and we were literally only a few rows uh, back from the ring, which was incredible. Um, and like I said, my, our friend fought um, last night. Um, he did lose, unfortunately, but is what it is. Um, these bare knuckle boxing fights are a lot different from traditional boxing. You can't take nowhere near the same amount of punishment because it is obviously bare knuckle. So one early, one early swift shot can change the game. Do you know what I mean? And you'll see in the footage, my friend took a uh, a body shot early on. I think he damaged his ribs and just it knocked his balance off and everything. And then you and then he hasn't recovered from this shot. And then next minute he's taking a shot to the head. And then he took another hook. It, it, it just, yeah. If you were to read the play that fight a hundred times, it could have gone a hundred different ways. Do you know what I mean? That's the, the nature of that bare knuckle boxing, just because how much more the shots hurt than traditional boxing. It, it's a lot, a lot of different ways it, it can go. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, fantastic event. Really had an amazing time. And I will drop some of the footage in. So this first fight, I'll put the footage in of was not my friend, um, it was just literally, um, I think it was the first or second fight we watched, um, so that people were just starting to come to the arena. Um, and it's only a short clip, um, the video I took. But yeah, so that was the first one. I'll put this up now. Six feet tall, he weighed in at 232.8 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of five wins, six losses, and he fights out of Levittown, Long Island, New York. Sorry, man. <laughs> Go on, Eric! Give it to him! Let the fire! 
second clip um hopefully you enjoyed that first clip you got a, a little idea of it then this second clip is the full entrance um and the full fight of, of um my friend's fight um i'll put that full thing up now but yeah ho hopefully you enjoy it guys um yeah i don't know what, what i want about yeah hopefully you enjoy it have a look see what you think um here we go three rounds in the cruiserweight division <laughs> introducing first Fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Derek Godfrey! And now, ladies and gentlemen, this cruiserweight bare knuckle bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and is presented live on the stadium app. Our referee in charge with the bell rings, Mr. Clive Allison. Let's meet the fighters first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 191 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of one win versus two losses. And he fights out of Bristol, England. Godfrey! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall. He weighed in at 190.3 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of three wins, three losses, one draw. And he fights out of Preston, England. Introducing Stuart Mad Dog Maddox. To business. Don't go quiet, London. Come on.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Clive Allison calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 55 seconds in the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Stuart Mad Dog Mad. So guys, that was the fight. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it is, like I said, a lot more brutal and a lot fast, a lot more faster pace than traditional boxing. Do you know what I mean? Because stuff can change so fast in that um, little tri tri trigon. I think they call it a trigon. Yeah, trigon. Stuff can change so fast because the shots are a lot more powerful. Um, not a lot more powerful necessarily, but obviously you've got no protection. Do you know what I mean? So they're hurting a lot more than what they would with uh, ten ounce boxing gloves on or fourteen ounce boxing gloves on. Um, but yeah, it was. I had such a great, great time. I've never been to um, a bare knuckle boxing event before. And I probably will go to another one if I get the opportunity. It was a wicked time. I did really enjoy it. Um, so, so um, well put on, do you know what I mean? You might, some people might have a bad um, misconception about bare knuckle boxing and what it was, but it was put on just like any other boxing event I've ever been to. Um, just instead of not boxing, it's bare knuckles, do you know what I mean? Same professionalism. Like I said, it was in the London O2, so it's all above board. Literally incredible day. Wicked day. Well, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of something different um, than a normal traditional video um, and see what I've been getting up to. Um, and it kind of gives me, obviously, I'm not going to be fighting bare knuckle, but it kind of gives me another um, insight into, obviously, fighting and stuff like that um, leading up to my fight. Um, but yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do want to support me in my charity boxing event, which I will be fighting on the 17th of December, if you do want to support me, all the links will be downstairs in the description. If you would like to follow Sam on his new um, Twitch page where he games and you can follow him, watch him playing games and computer games and stuff like that, I will also leave the link for that in the description. Um, if you want to catch us on socials, all the links will, will be for that will be in the description. Otherwise guys, we will catch you in the next one. Peace!